I potentially ruined my camera and be set back thousands of dollars today. And now that I've got it open, I immediately regret that decision. Oh no. I am no longer caring about the filming of this video. I am just trying to get out of this situation. It is my day off and I got a, I got a little bit of a problem. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just flapping. It jiggles. People have had this problem with the A7S III. If you're just here to learn how to fix this camera, go to this timestamp right here and skip all the rest of it. Otherwise, you guys hang on for this one. I need to fix the equipment. This screen is unacceptable. Let's get after it. Check, check, test, test. I'm going to be using this red, green, go video as a reference point. Let's take this apart and take it off of its stand. Get the base plate taken off, my little adapter, a lens cap. Let's see, I think I have one here somewhere. Here is this incredible iFixit kit. Everything is magnetized. Got this idea from Peter Lindgren. So you can lift this off. You know how badly I want to say link in description. I'm going to have to rig up some double-sided tape. This is my gaff tape for my different sides of the camera. Whoop, eyepiece just pops off and then there you have one, two, three, four, and looks like there's a fifth one right there. So here we go. Uh, voiding my warranty in three, two. Uh, I'm especially happy for that double-sided tape, that gaff tape. That is saving my life already, I can tell you that. Okay, so I'm gonna call this uh, the back. Just gonna give it a square. And we're going to be unscrewing here, here, and here. We do not need to unscrew the screws that are in the monitor this way, the monitor this way, or the one that is here, directly. I'll tell you something, these screws, don't drop it, these screws are tiny, tiny. I know that's not in focus, but it's tiny. I have them laid out in the approximate order. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. That's what I'm doing. That's how I'm staying sane. Okay, I can already see that's the, that's the base plate in there. So let's call that uh, base. And I'm going to do this as well. I'm going to put this one as one, two, three in the order in which I've been doing it because that's nuts. Uh, I'm getting a little amped up by this. Patience is my middle name. Got a little Jimmy bar, that's what I love about- Okay, uh, which way was that on? I guess like that? Let's just, let's, 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 let's not. I don't remember seeing this whole bottom piece go off. This is why, this is why I don't do things like this. We get into it. Uh, that piece of plastic is a millimeter. This one right here, this piece is a millimeter thick. Let's see if there's a chance for this thing to just, just pop off. Right at the key juncture there, uh, we have a little bit of an issue. I've already, this popped off, fell off. I'm gonna remove it and I'm going to, I'm about to YOLO. Yeah, I'm gonna YOLO into this next chapter. So now we're talking on the right hand side. You peel back this layer right here at this corner on, on the this edge of the grip. Peel this back, and then you'll find screws up here, here, and here. All right, it's getting, starting to sweat a little bit. Something is happening. I'm either ruining my camera, or, and hopefully it's the or, we're getting the tape up out of the way. YOLO. I'm, says the guy who won't even take plastic wrap off of his camera. I'm sitting here digging into my several thousand dollar piece of equipment that I need for my livelihood. Come on. What am I, what am I doing with my life? Okay, I'm into the grip. I need to stop and breathe. Uh, let's just call this a grip. I'm going to see if this bottom plate will come off now. Bottom compartment is off. There's a country song where he says, I'm past the point of rescue. This right here is the hot sauce from Joshua Verwers. I'm feeling like maybe I've missed a screw because this is not. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. We have some movement. 
And now that I've got it open, I immediately regret that decision because I don't know what comes next. I'm going to have two screws that are going to come out of the back of this camera right here. I am no longer caring about the filming of this video. I am just trying to get out of this situation. And you are now along for the ride. It's either a gel or a magnet. I'm trying to be very careful. I'm just going to let that flap in this dark pit are two screws and there they are. I bought some super glue. One Mississippi. Gonna try and hit the hole. I will celebrate when this cover is back on and I will ultimately celebrate if I can get the whole thing back together again. Okay, and if you'll remember, the bottom popped out, but I don't remember how the bottom piece, this piece right here, I don't remember how it popped out. So I hope I set it just like it was. I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't remember if it was on top or if it was below. I'm gonna put it below and hopefully we can start snapping this back together. I have all these things numbered and the reason I have them numbered is because I've already forgotten how they go back together. So let's do memory card first. That was memory card, now let's go five. Well, if you ever wanted to advertise that you voided your warranty, uh, make a video about it. I wonder if Sony will, will reach out and say, hey, good job. Is this the thing that I've done? Is it me? Am I the drama? Uh, it wasn't fitting the eyepiece the last little dial on the eyepiece was not fitting and then it just blew up and I'm pretty sure that screw is microscopic oh it's still in there and the right way wow well we're gonna save that for last then like a little surprise there at the end just to keep the old blood flowing and with that it looks like we are finished no more shake that thing is back to a hundred percent it's like it was brand new couldn't have done it without the videos that walked me through everything so red green go special thank you and then this map and this diagram from peter lingren also with these uh small mechanical tools from iFixit. holy cow i'm sweating on to the next but why am i saying on to the next i don't even know if it works might as well test it all out out. Check, check, test, test. Screen's working. Camera's working. It lives! It lives! We're back up and running. We're ready to shoot some videos. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. I'm out. Honestly, I can't believe this worked. The way my projects go, sometimes I'll start them, I'll get into them, I'll get over my head. I do something wrong, they don't work out, and they just, they go haywire sometimes. And that's a real possibility. I could have killed this thing today. So far, so good. Holy cow, we're working on electrical equipment. We're working on cameras, thousands of dollars of camera equipment. It's time to do work.